Okay, these are your topic two, lesson one, notes. Um, the atmosphere in you, pages 48 through 55 for earth science. Please take notes as you go. Do not be afraid to stop and pause to catch up or to replay something if you didn't understand it. So what are we going to learn in this particular lesson? The guiding questions will tell us that. What is the composition and the structure of the Earth's atmosphere? And how does energy from the sun affect the Earth's atmosphere? Earth's insulator. What is the atmosphere? It is a thin layer of gases that surrounds the planet. It protects the planet from harmful solar radiation and keeps the planet's temp within a range that allows life to exist. So the atmosphere is extremely important. Earth's insulator. What is Earth's atmosphere made of? The Earth's atmosphere is made of air water, and energy that are all connected. Air, water, and energy, and they're all connected. Composition of the atmosphere. What are the most abundant gases in the atmosphere? Nitrogen and oxygen. They account for 99% of the atmosphere. Nitrogen makes up 78% of the atmosphere. And oxygen makes up about 21% of the atmosphere. Air pressure. Imagine a column of air above you that extends all the way into space. This column of air exerts a force on you. What is it called? Well, if you follow along up here for the title, yes, it's called air pressure. Air pressure. And the final slide on this part one. If you look at this, and you might want to take a screenshot of this or take a picture with you, however you're going to do this, okay? <clears throat> but you might want this image to refer to. It's a pretty good image describing what air pressure does and what it looks like. So you notice you got these two little dudes here, one on top of the mountain. And it says, look at how few atoms are pressing down on the guy at the top of the mountain. So, of course, there's lower pressure, less atoms pushing down, okay? Look at the guy down here at the bottom. Look at all the atoms pressing down on the guy at the bottom of the mountain. So as you can see, they get more um, um, frequent. There's higher concentration of atoms, and there is higher pressure. Okay? So that's where we're going to stop for today. Those are That's the first part of Topic 2, Lesson 1, Discussion. And we will continue these tomorrow.